Hi, James Hardiman here again. This is the second in my series of uh, videos looking a little further inside Wikihouse. And in the last video, I said we'd look at some of the uh, bits and pieces that are actually in the library. Uh, here we are on the Wikihouse webpage, www.wikihouse.cc. And if you go there and you haven't seen it, one of the things you can do is see the video where Alistair is talking about the ideas behind this. But what I want to do today is come here to where it says library. Uh, and if we click there, we will see all sorts of models that you can download and have a look at. And um, in the last video, I looked at the Eric S. Shed as modified a bit by me. Um, You'll see the wiki mallet. One of the essential tools for building a wiki house is a mallet, uh, but you don't need to buy it because you can make one out of um, eight by four sheets of uh, three quarter inch ply, 18 mil ply. Um, this little stool here is a project you can download just to make sure that everything's working. You've got your CNC machine set up right. Here is a fundamental S joint that you can download and have a look at, Eric's Shed. Uh, Wikihouse UK version 3.3, uh, the SketchUp Maker Fair Pavilion, etc., etc. All of these can be downloaded. And all you have to do to download them, let's, um, well, let's go to Eric's Shed. If you click on it, you'll find uh, that you can download the SketchUp model. Some of them uh, you can download the SketchUp model. Some of them you can download the cutting files. And these are what cutting files look like. So each of these is an 8x4 sheet with various bits in it. And within WikiHouse, there is uh, an add-on for SketchUp, which will take your model and create these cutting, uh, cutting files. Uh, and there is still some work to be done on that. Uh, or alternatively, you could spend an awful long time doing this job yourself. But let's not worry about the SketchUp files at the moment. If you click here, it'll download the SketchUp model. And on Eric Shed, if you go to this YouTube video, it's a YouTube made by Eric where he talks about some of the principles that uh, he's stuck with uh, or that he's created uh, in designing this shed. However, I'm not going to download it now because I've already downloaded it. Um, Eric's Shed. And what comes down is uh, Eric Shed, Eric SKP. I've got backup files and I've um, got my own version of it. But let's look at some of the other things that are on here. Um, let's start with something incredibly simple, which is the Wiki Mallet. Uh, I downloaded that. This strange file here is the cutting file, which I don't actually need because I'm not about to cut it, so I'm going to delete that. Uh, don't bother with downloading the cutting files unless you're actually on the point of making these models. And there it is. There's the wiki mallet. Um, let's talk just a little bit about SketchUp here. When I click it, uh, a blue box comes around the whole thing. And that says that this is either uh, a group or it's a component. But either way, let's explode it into its separate parts. And now we see we've got this part, which we could move. Come on. Move out of the way. And we've got this part, which we could move out of the way. And clearly, we've got two of those, and obviously, we've actually got two of those. So we cut two of those and two of those, and we stick them all together like that. And that makes us a wiki mallet. Let's look at some of the other models. Let's look at the basic C section for a moment. So <clears throat> This C section is the heart of WikiHouse. And we see here a piece which is quite clearly going to link in. Let's see if I can do this well enough live. Yep, 
I can join that piece on there. Let's join that piece on there. As I do this, I'm getting this fairly smooth movement because I'm using a 3D mouse. And I have to say that if you're going to work on SketchUp for whoops, any length of time, a 3D mouse is absolutely indispensable because it's so much easier. Come on, if you can. That's better. Ah! There we go. So much better if you can move quickly and easily around. Um, when you look up these mice from a company called 3D Connection with an X in it, they tell you that in half an hour you'll be used to using the mouse. Well, I would say uh, if you do a lot of games playing using a an Xbox or a PS3 or something like that, then that might be true. But if you're an old fogey like me, uh, and the only game playing you ever did was <coughs> Patience, it took me probably about a week to get used to it. Uh, but now I am used to it. I couldn't possibly do without it. It is brilliant. Still haven't got that one quite right. There we go. Uh. <coughs> So there I've put that end piece together. And if I, I can make this into a group and then I can move this whole thing around to where I want it. So these are kind of the very basic components <coughs> of WikiHouse. If we go back to that same folder, this was the actual model that we downloaded. This is sort of fundamental WikiHouse. And this has been made a number of times and is taken to exhibitions so that can, people can see what the bare bones of WikiHouse is. Where we need to go next is to start putting these things together into garden studios and garages and sheds and three-bedroomed houses and all like that. Always with such a thing, if we've got a model like this in SketchUp, it is very easy to take it apart and see how it works. And we could even see how we could start making the, um, the cutting files if we wanted to. We need to get them all flat. So we could take this one and say, well, we need to lay it flat and then move it near another one. Uh, another advantage of the 3D mouse is that you can, oh look, I haven't got it on the same plane. So I can move that down until it's where it needs to be. And you could see how we could take all these other pieces and do the same thing. Let's have a look at something a bit more advanced than the basic C section. Let's close that. And we've got rather a lot of copies of SketchUp open here. Let's get rid of the mallet. And what's left is a bench that I've been working on uh, in SketchUp, um, which is going to be the bench that has got my uh, CNC machine on it. So here's the model known as WikiHouse UK version 3-3 and the implication is not that this is a house you could live in but like all the others you can go around and have a look at it and as you start to take off the exterior panels and the interior panels uh, you get to see more details of exactly how the joints work uh, and the latest level of S-joint 
and things like that. And it's a good way of playing with SketchUp um, and playing with WikiHouse so that you get to understand what's going on. So if we click this, we'll see one module there. And if we click this, there's another one there. You see how people have modularized. And if you go to any particular module, so if we go to this one and double click it, then that allows you to edit it. You can go in um, and see what the various modules are. One good way of seeing what is a component, if you edit it all the way down to the point, that's keep double clicking until you see lots of dots, and then go and uh, pick out some sort of um, fairly garish color, like uh, that, for instance, you'll see that all, all the instances of that component will immediately change. Um, only that face we've colored, if we really want to color the whole thing, we have to go around and do each face. I won't do it. But you can see which components are common components throughout. Uh, and that alone can be quite interesting. So <clears throat> obviously these here are not the same as those there. So let's go in and find out how many of these components are. Let's color this a different color. And now we begin to see, actually it would be much better if we colored it something other than a shade of red. Let's go into a shade of green. <clears throat> and we can see which ones are common there. And it looks like these are something different again. So let's make those yellow and see where those reappear. And I've spent quite some time educating myself by going around and looking at what all these various components are. So <clears throat> I'm not going to go through every single model uh, that's available on wikihouse.cc. You can do that for yourself. You can download a free copy of SketchUp. All these models can be downloaded from wikihouse.cc and you can spend your time playing around with them. Uh, the next video is going to give a quick introduction to SketchUp. Uh, most of the training for SketchUp um, leaves, I think, a lot to be desired. I played with SketchUp for quite a long time and did a lot of SketchUp courses and didn't get it. Uh, and I think there are one or two basic concepts that you need to see before you begin to learn SketchUp. So that's what the next module is going to be about.